Hello. Okay. <laughs> Hello. We finished the second trial. It feels like. It, well, I'll talk a little bit more while we're actually playing. But it feels like it's only been. I guess we skipped a week, right? Uh -huh. Now we're back. It feels like it's been so much longer. It gets that way. Literally, when I play, if I don't stream for like a weekend mm -hmm. or like say four or five days, I'm like, oh, it feels like an eternity since I've done this. Mm. But that's what happens when you do something regularly again and again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, me. <laughs> I hope it caught that because yeah. it did burn my nostrils. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sneef, sneef. Oh. <laughs> I know I shouldn't cry. Ken. But it's normal. Mm -hmm. I've had enough. No, you're weak. I you can't, can't cry. Take it anymore. No cry. Will someone get punished if Stay someone commits here. suicide? Anytime soon. Uh. Well. It's is suicide murder? Impossible. In um, the American legal system, yes, and that's <laughs> why suicide's a crime. I can't let myself think about But this game's not set in America! <laughs> I was gonna say, is it is it not illegal just because like of religious that. implications? We could ask that question about a lot of things <laughs> here in America. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. But yeah, no, isn't that like the most stupidest thing ever? It's like suicide's a crime. So you're... like, one, you're trying to kill yourself because you're probably in a bad spot, yeah. and then if you don't succeed, you feel like a failure, yes. and then also, you will be punished. <laughs> to, to not joke about it so much, you feel like a failure, so it gives you motivation to kill yourself better next right. time. Right, 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 right. Can't remember her voice, so we're just gonna do whatever until I find it. <clears throat> That's oh, fine, we, we just ate, so we... I, I have the, like... The throat clearies mm. where I'm constantly trying to clear my throat for what I'm drinking or eating. Mm -hmm. I will say there is like something about hi killer beef uh, about this tea I'm drinking where it's like it is sweet enough for me. Mm -hmm. There's something off about it. I don't know what. It's it's the the sugar coating your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. I did think about getting donuts this weekend. Mm. <laughs> we can do that whenever. It's true. Lace donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, mal malasadas. <laughs> okay. Oh, god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Oh, am I playing? No. Okay, wait. <laughs> and sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. Oh shit, were you about to watch her die? <laughs> Good curves. Only. Only a little bit of fan service. We got through one of two fan services. Is that like her in the bed? Is the is the first one? Yeah. Okay. The second one. Ah, oh, fuck! I was gonna, I was gonna off stream just like go through the the items and then just get a bunch of items. Oh yeah, because we haven't gotten items in a while. That was another thing I was gonna mention. I feel like we haven't had any free time in the game for me to hang out with people in a long time. Anyways, but right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. That sounds like a robot. <laughs> What's that sound? Same sound over and over. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Me, not having any sense of direction. <laughs> but... <laughs> Can you tell me right now which direction the bathhouse would be? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super scared, but girl, people will be getting murdered at night. No one like cares about this nighttime rule. I would not investigate the bathhouse. I would get your donuts and go. <laughs> I'm trying to remember though, isn't the kitchen like- What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> we got ghost baby. <laughs> For real? <laughs> what is this? What's happening? This is my least favorite chapter. Oh no. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. I also was thinking about before we were streaming today. The more we go on, the less we both have to voice act. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I made you voice a guy this whole time. But, but I'm the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Momo. 
Um, also, we don't have a second dog with us anymore. She has been returned mm -hmm. to her family. So less you likely. Tell them that she died. No! <laughs> she don't say that about her! <laughs> but the the more barky one has has left. Yes. And can now bark freely wherever she wants. And is now very, very spoiled. Again. Again. <laughs> Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. This oh. is not everyone. Also, what's going on behind, uh... Who is, what the, what is his name? Bro guy. I just started looking at No, what the hell? Uh, military guy. Oh, that's a plane. Oh, it looks like it's like enmeshed with his shadow. Uh huh. So it looks like this weird. I don't know what's happening. It, it does look weird. That's what I expected, but. Days count. Wait, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> it is me. Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Tokyo, Toko and Miyaki still refuse to show up. They're bony. <laughs> Let them at it. And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh, that is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worried. So then. So it's just the seven of us, then. Looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. He's, he's a little messed up. I, uh, his best friend died. <laughs> Um, His best friend was a murderer. Everyone's best friend's a murderer. <laughs> Baka hasn't said a word since everything that happened. I, I mean, I'm not this surprised makes my he showed job up. Easier. It does. I'm not surprised that he showed up, but it's so hello. You can give me the oh, baby. Oh, okay. You can hold that, and we'll switch. No, she doesn't want to come up. Never mind. He probably went to the bathroom. Uh oh. He always loves going to the bathroom when we sit down and start things. <laughs> and she recognizes this. Not actually, but it sure seems like it. <laughs> one look at his face. Wait, one. Yep. Showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. Must be because Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it. Can't even imagine what it must have done to him. I don't remember if I told you, but in the anime, like after it shows the mondo butter, the next morning after it actually shows Monokuma like Eating spreading it. the mondo butter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. It's not. <laughs> no, I'm it's all depressed like... just thinking about it. <laughs> We simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well, here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, violence? As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon angel pretty pudgy princess! <laughs> That's me! Because <laughs> huh? you got the horns on right now. That's right. I'm pudgy. <laughs> Here we go! Maggie the drill shop owner, the bunny eared Amazon, cat girl dog- Cat girl dog boy! boy. <laughs> Robo Justice the Galactic King! And, and, what I mean is, there's no 2D here! You're telling me there's no goddamn manga in the library? <laughs> there is nothing to be done. Oh, Suge, thank you for following. I appreciate that. <laughs> Where's the goddamn hentai in here? Oh, shit, this is my line. <laughs> <laughs> the mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since Taka's, like, Catatonic. I don't know why I read this as Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> now that Taka's Catholic and totally a religious zealot, as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. 
So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. We both can't read, because I thought he said searching for school, and I was gonna be like, you're fucking in one! <laughs> searching? I'm right, right? <laughs> well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all... Perhaps there should be new places for us to investigate. It's true. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. They are eating the butter. <laughs> Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm. There may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Um... Or, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined our conversation. You called for me until I appeared! We did not. <laughs> you wanna know something? You know what? Second favorite character. Yours? Yeah. Like, actual Genocide Jill or... Uh, Genocide Jill. Okay. Nobody called for you! I do... Um. It's wild to me that they had this, like, reveal of there is an actual murderer among you guys. Uh-huh. And she's just gonna live here. But it's, it's helpful because no one is like her type to uh -huh. murder. Yeah. So this is also torture Maybe for Makoto. her. He's yeah. not. Wait, I'm trying to remember her other victims. I know she really, like, after she found out about Shihiro's identity, she was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I should've. <laughs> I don't think Makoto's got the. Mm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't got the it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's one of the writing elements I think they did good, because it's just like, oh yeah, we do have a murderer living among us now. That's... <laughs> among us. No, don't, don't say it. <laughs> what the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! <laughs> no. No. I can't stop. Every time I'm editing Wolf Among Us now, I just, in my head, I scream. <laughs> I scream among us. God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self! I'm also... Why did they let her bring these scissors? Uh... Because these are I, the scissors she made herself, she right? She kind of implied they were, like, under her clothes or something, because she just pulled them out. Because okay. they were like, you don't even have your weapons. She's just like, what Wrong. do you mean? <laughs> Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings! No more hiding in a cave for me! Plus, I have another battle to fight. <laughs> the whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I'm gonna destroy that stereotype. You I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Good for you. Uh, um, but you are a killer with a split personality. We're dealt the cards. I don't, how does Do that we... saying go? Fuck, you deal with the hand that you're dealt with. There we you go. deal, <laughs> you... You're given the hand that you're dealt. Uh huh. I'm not good at American sayings. <laughs> Play the hand you're dealt. Yes, you were correct. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't really do that trope anymore now, though, do we? Like, when's uh, the last time you can think that we, there was a split personality? Undergrad in high school. Not sorry, that doesn't make sense. Undergrad in college. Say, do you wanna, do you wanna give like an approximate time ago or year? Because that means nothing to know. Twenty eighteen ish. Okay. Um, there was that movie that came out with, like, I don't know if he was, like, a murderer or, like, a killer. I'm pretty sure he was, but he had, like, a split personalities, and a lot of people were like, oh my god, oh, M. Night Shyamalan, he did the movie. Hmm. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be such a spooky movie. Any one of us could have a split personality. Wrong. Anyways, <laughs> I also remember, this is gonna be a tangent, so, um, it was in one of my major classes, which my undergrad degree is in psychology, mm -hmm. um, but there were some girls, once again, this was like a major course, not a whatever course, not a gen ed. There were some girls talking about it in like very ignorant ways in uh -huh. the class. And I was just like, y'all, this is a psychology <laughs> course. You know that shit is fake and like not, not like DID is fake, but like, you know that movie does and, not and accurately media. portray things. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways. Did you oh, read what, the line? <laughs> what, one more quick tangent question. Uh -huh. Can you, so, like, can you immediately tell when someone has a split personality? Like, if you were, like, no. someone in this room has a split personality, could you tell? Like, are there any other factors that sort of, like, align with their, no? No, like, some people, I haven't seen, um, 
Cause like the last time I've seen any footage of this stuff was probably like high school or undergrad where like some people kind of have like this, um, almost like a shutdown and then come back out mm -hmm. as like a different alter or self. Um, but other than that, you generally wouldn't know other than like the change in personality. I did. Okay. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Wrong. Not the type. <laughs> Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> Not doing a lot. I do like the little what it looks like. Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. Hell yeah. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. I don't eat. <laughs> do we have a fuzzy friend under us or is that your slipper? It's hard to tell. It's your slipper. Okay. <laughs> so we are forced to eat breakfast with a murderer. Yeah. And <laughs> after our much needed but very annoying meal, <laughs> we set to work looking around the school. <laughs> Gee, murderers are really annoying to eat with. All they do is talk about killing. All they do is murder right in front of me. <laughs> Um, so I'm, does it tell me what's been... Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and say there's a new floor every time. Okay, but it doesn't tell me, like, what's in the floor. No. That's for you to have the fun and explore. I'm guessing I can't, um... You might be able to teleport at least to the second floor. I don't know if it'll let you teleport to the third floor, but... I can teleport right in front of it! completely leave. <laughs> it's purple up here! Yeah! The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. How many floors are there? Uh, I'll go ahead and say... So there's there's six chapters in total. Uh, -huh. uh There are five floors. Okay. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Well, we've got this nice neon sign and some stick. And some, and some, and some, and some, and some stairs. <laughs> Would that freak you out if the stairs actually disappeared? Yes. We have a rec room. Recreational room. We play room some games. For recreation. Someone's gonna die via pool ball. Is that what they're called? Uh, there's pool and there's billiards. I don't remember billiard the difference. Billiard ball. Someone's gonna Let's die via see. billiard ball. A recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I was really hoping she was saying, like, recreate or something. <laughs> I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even- Othello? Like, the play? The, the board game? Board or, game? Uh, not board game, <laughs> but just like game you play on the table. I've never heard of this game. I, I'm certain you have. I'm certain I have not. <laughs> you can use my phone. Um, That's okay, because I'm back with my Even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. <laughs> not that are uh, up to date, but you know, whatever. Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Oh my Listen god. Up! Oh gosh, okay, hold on, gotta get back into this. Ugh. Okay. God. How do boys? Yes. Hmm. I have seen this. No idea what it's about. I, I remember what it is. It's the game where like basically you have to flip the other person's pieces to be your color, and then at the end you want the the most of your color. The corners are key. Alright. <laughs> Hello there! Allow me to expand! We got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty! This is a school after all! If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags! So then. And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad! Sorry! No can deal! <laughs> Even if I wanted to right now, magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops! Nothing! Never mind! No, no! Anyway! That's it for me! My, <laughs> my explanation! Bye bye! Bye! <laughs> I don't know the word expoundation. I don't think I've ever heard of it. What he just said, 
I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? It's it's like when you go into a doctor's it's the same like waiting thing. room. Yeah, you're like, all these magazines look like they have been here since the mid-2000s. <laughs> this magazine here says that smoking cigarettes is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> there are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? There it goes. This looks like some kind of bottle, but what the heck is it? It looks like Monokuma holding like a chess piece. It is. Oh! <laughs> but, so they've given you all these other games, but they haven't given you chess. They've given you the, uh, the idea of chess. Okay. Maybe it's just for decoration or something. A locker. It's a beatable locker. Doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. A dead body's gonna be in there one day. <laughs> Keep an eye out. There's a table here. It's kind of similar to the cool. desk. Uh huh. And a classroom, but also kind of not. Aww, let me investigate Monokuma thing. There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here, or was it always a parcel? So someone's gonna die via darts. <gasps> money! Holy shit, we have so many coins. Mm -hmm. we, we do need to go. Get some items when we have free time. Okay. Pool table isn't normal school equipment. Is this thanks to Monokuma or did the school buy it? Anything else? Camera as always. Assuming I make it out of here alive, I'll never look up some the cameras the same way again. You know what I found out recently from like some true crime stuff I've been watching mm -hmm. or listening to and stuff? A lot of surveillance cameras don't work. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so done in the wreck. Much like I was saying earlier about um, uh, late buses and trains, uh -huh. it'd be nice if it was a constant because then you could prepare for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but much like surveillance cameras, not that I'm saying that anyone should do crimes, but. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> you can never. Caprolux does not endorse criminal activity. <laughs> you, you can't tell when cameras are going to be busted or if they're actually in use. Mm -hmm. So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a I almost said psychics lab. <laughs> physics lab in an art room. <sighs> I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. I think this is involved with our ghost. I don't know anything about physics. I took zero physics classics and any of my schooling. So did I. Oh wait. That's not true. I, I had to take you a, a physics club, <laughs> but anything after that, like, required one, mm -hmm. they were like, hey, since you're going to a science field, you should do more physics. And I went, I'm not going to do that now. No, I Just have not. a spike. <laughs> and then I didn't. And look at me now. A doctor. <laughs> a doctor. <laughs> at first glance, this looks like any normal art room, but something about it seems off. Maybe the weirdo, the freak in the middle of <laughs> He has a name. I will refuse to remember. No, it's Hifumi. Hifumi? Hifumi? Or multiple somethings. It's this one. This is the something. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you wish the body I had. Uh -huh. the, the ideal male physique. God, I love that TikTok I send you and occasionally I'll see where it's that guy rollerblading and he does a fucking backflip and he lands and he rolls to the camera and he's just like, this is the ideal male specimen or something like that. <laughs> and he's not wrong. Backflips are the ideal. <laughs> can't do them unless I'm on a trampoline. I can't even do them on a trampoline. <laughs> my brain knocks around my skull. <laughs> Well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines you and stuff? Bet your ass I do! <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of uh, Charnovo Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Ron Rompongi makes. I think that last name is, act is like an actual last name of a poet. I think. 
it, it's hard to tell because I can't tell when they use What's an like actual a name thing yeah. and then when they like change the name slightly to avoid <laughs> any kind of copyright. Uh, Charming Bow's ability to express as the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburu Roppongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> tour. Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. Did you say tour? Like twice. Wait, then you said tour, right? Yeah, but then you're like tour. Yeah, dude. Do artists go on tour? Well, like, I guess would a figurine artist go on a tour? Maybe if they had like a exhibit happening. Maybe. Also, I looked up if it's like Body Worlds or whatever. You talked about it before. Oh, yeah. They have no plans on going anywhere near us, <laughs> which made me so sad. <laughs> Someday. Well, one day. But well, one of your elite is missing. You know nothing. Well, the elite three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightfully belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. He's got dreams. I I can appreciate that. <laughs> Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. <laughs> ah! <laughs> nice. Again with the cameras! Do you like that the background of this room is like the background Children's of an drawings. elementary <laughs> school? <laughs> Even here, there's a surveillance camera. I should just ignore it, but I can't seem to help myself. Well, it's good to be aware of your surroundings. There's a little alien in there. Oh, I love him! <laughs> He's dancing. See, he's got the lean a little bit. <laughs> there are paintings lining the walls. Is this really art? It just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Damn. Monokuma pops up and he's like, that's my art! <laughs> Fucked up of you. No, 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 no. It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art roomish. The locker. Doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Did you check? I, I do like all the different drawings around the Venus statue. This is a statue of Neo. Never really heard anyone using Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. The door. It's the fly closet, perhaps. I am. Oh. What? What is? What's on the floor? <laughs> this is. You don't need to worry. About ah! <laughs> I, I'm sure you didn't miss anything. Something on the floor. Looks like a picture. As I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Who Who's took up? this picture? Who are these chumps? <laughs> what I saw in the picture was a hero, Leon and Mondo. They're smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they use? How'd they get it developed? <laughs> in the picture of the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean wherever this picture was taken wasn't here at Hope's Peak. There's no time to find an answer. All the questions. Christ oh. almighty. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. It happens. <laughs> Floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had that answers evaporated. Ah, you peeked, did you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that They were wonderful. definitely living their school life. <laughs> it's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing! Why can't you give me a free answer? <laughs> Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Monokuma took it from me. That's that's all you get. Dolly? They must have used it to move all these statues around. Of course, there's a monitor in here too. The mastermind is thorough with nothing else. There's not much point in worrying about it now. I should try to just forget about it. Money! 
monitors can give you money. Okay. Mallets! Mallets. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. You know, I have always thought I feel like making a sculpture would be fun. That's but since fun. I have not any real artistic skill, it'd be hard. Yeah? Yeah. There's a surveillance camera in here too. Naturally, the mastermind didn't miss a single detail. Ice sculptures are really cool. Ice sculptures? Yeah. Yeah. I did not mean to do that. Um, try and check uh, out the lights. Uh, um. No. I think that's it. So that's the art room. That's the art room. That's a bunch of pillars we're running into. Why is that hallway gray? Death? Did you say death? Yeah. Okay. Physics. Psychics. Psychics. Easy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a strange machine. Yeah. <laughs> this is the physics lab. Less like a classroom, more like some kind of research institute. They must use these for physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kind of stuff I don't even recognize. Monitor here too, naturally. I can't let it get to me. I need to just forget about it. I, I just thought it was something fun that we don't have to do because I do let you be in the main character. Uh -huh. But I was thinking, like, what if one of us was the speaking voice and one of us was the thinking voice? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> we don't have to. I, do I like you reading them. Yeah. Do you want me to? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Oh. Watch out! Yeah. Watch out! What? Oh, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this? <laughs> what, you wanna do some quantum leaping? Oh. Huh? That's a time machine! Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy! <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> I forgot he has a voice. <laughs> Time machine? Seriously. Aww. So, you can go back in time. Please, you don't want to go back in time and save Mondo. Oh! Okay, then. Let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... <laughs> this time I'll stop Mondo for sure. You could just, like, meet him in person and be like, Hey, don't go to school ever. <laughs> ever. Don't get a formal education. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in the okay. gang. Sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. I just have to run up three stories to get there. <laughs> one minute. Wah -wah. Mm. You sound disappointed. Mm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. <laughs> what? Hey. Honestly, um... it's just an air purifier. Yeah, sorry, air Sitch, purifier. we are. Uh... In we got through words. the second trial two weeks ago. Yeah. So. It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you can even live on Mars. Is it by that much? <laughs> well, with that discombobulated gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. All right. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So don't go messing with it. You break it, it's your butt. Huge thing is just an air purifier? <laughs> More than that. Oh. <laughs> to better a way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. That sure sounds like God Monica. damn you! Nice. Thanks. Cool. Ooh, sweet. Nice. Oh my god! <laughs> has run through all the wires. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, <laughs> so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. Oh, whoa! It's a camera! It's a camera. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> it won't let me see it from 
this angle. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some weird anime style on it. <laughs> it's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, still works. What? I should show Ask the others later. Uh, oh. Closet set. A body oh, did I never even you. fucking talk to him? I'll talk to him on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you think he's going to say much? Maybe. <laughs> this is the equipment room. Super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. And that's Genocide Jill's like, that's just me. <laughs> Toko. That's just Toko. <laughs> this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. Girl, you're going to get canceled. <laughs> it's so tempting. Uh -huh. I just want to dunk myself right in it. Of course, Literally Genocide Jack Quinn. likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. <laughs> hmm. I discovered lots of stuff. And all of it was strange. <laughs> I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head back to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. I'm not done looking for money. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Wow, okay, I guess there was nothing important to Just search in there. fucking cut me off. Because it decided that all you had to do was go talk to Toko for her to be like, hey, there's chemical smell in here. <laughs> Formaldehyde turns me on. <laughs> when I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah. Hina! I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Huh? Oh, she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. I do you love donuts? You mm. sure do. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? No. Well, my stomach ate kind of made me hungry, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss Asahina is pretty much mm. the same, it looks mm. like. What the fuck? <laughs> Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Sorry. <gasps> Besides that, you. Huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on your milk production? Stay away from her feed. <laughs> um, anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Wait, Hina's VA also voices. But Mona sounds more like my Paimon voice, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that's played Persona 5. I have not played Persona 5 in oh. years. Oh, okay. Wow. I forget that that game did not come out like two years ago. Yeah, no, there's a bunch of other money grabs <laughs> that I was interested in playing, but I am lazy and poor. <laughs> Still not saying a damn word. That's all I had to add. Okay, I was about to be like, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? <laughs> right. Uh, got everything out. I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't happen to be a donut laid discovery, did it? Wait, what? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember the one on the first floor, right? What? I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? <laughs> or even vitamin supplements would be fine. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. Not sure if it's that disappointing. <laughs> Eat protein. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakuya a little while ago. Forgot he existed. <laughs> what? Where? Where is he? What? What? You're, you're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um, he Hello. was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't <laughs> let him get away from me! <laughs> Bitch, did you not think to look? 
That movie is so good! Oh yeah, it was really good. Yeah. She just ran off. What'd you think of it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's uh, still, even with the split personality, she's still super into Byakuya. Oh, I just thought she was pissed off because he like revealed her secret. Nah, she wants to bang him and kill him. Okay. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves him. with her. What? What'd you say? And make out with them. What? What are you saying? <laughs> Wow, Come doesn't on. want to talk to Taka. Says you're worthless as a human being now. No, I will go. I'm going male, female, so I don't have to do as much voice acting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. <laughs> do you like that Monokuma usually drops the info on you? Yeah. <laughs> Almost as if I'm the main character. <laughs> Huh? What's something like that doing here? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite scene in the movie? Mm. Is the device really that big? Can I lift it? I really don't get it. Uh. <laughs> now we can go to him and you can make your little weird mouth noises. Go on. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. Yeah. <laughs> I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. Yeah. I wish they'd give us a rest already, for serious! Give me back my bright blue skies! I know, like, the whole thing was, like, is despair, but they could at least have, like, some sort of fake, uh, sky thing. Yeah, even if it's fake, I do, I do appreciate a fake, like, light or something mm -hmm. to give off that illusion <laughs> so our monkey brains can uh see it just forget about it impossible you make it sound like i dropped a nickel or something just to be sure i went from one end to the other testing each metal plate none of them budged so in the it end. would seem escape via the third floor is as possible as we feared i see Hmm. There was an art room on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh, not what I meant to do. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me, I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Jesus. What was that? I believe it was the books. The, bu the books? Our cat probably tried to jump off of it. Oh, knocks him over. Okay. A digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. Let's start taking selfies. What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, its exp its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude! She's not strange! She's Princess Pickles! From Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess! Oh, you recognize this, Afumi? <laughs> you fucking nerd. <laughs> of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize I was given away in a bingo contest at a big anime convention. Any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? This is yours. <laughs> also, he cheated at the bingo contest. Uh. <laughs> Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! Where did you find it? In the physics lab? It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, uh, but look at it! What? It got all messed up! Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt! Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? <laughs> it's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. 
But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> <laughs> then, may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. <laughs> well, I can't really imagine any of us gonna need- any of us are gonna need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Come on. Pictures are all the fun times we have here. Pictures, pictures. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? That word again. Alright, I've had enough. <laughs> I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn! <laughs> Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's been kind of bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it? Huh? A weird picture? You mean like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Jihiro all together. Why? Those three? The three of them were laughing. Oh. Just laughing. Um... Just kept laughing at me. <laughs> I showed the three of them together laughing. When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Um, you probably just imagined it. Anakuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. <laughs> It's true. Without him, him actually having the picture, everyone's just like, "So you're trying to trick us? You're gaslighting us?" <laughs> this was a dream. <laughs> but if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here, how about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all, is it though? No, I'm pretty sure someone would die from that. <laughs> we saw it with our own eyes. Yeah. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. I can't tell if it's better or worse that they don't just show the Mondo butter whenever they are <laughs> showing Mondo's dead body. I think it's better. <laughs> They're not the only ones. God. Monokuma killed Junko and then there's... <laughs> the Zayaka! <laughs> <laughs> that was an illusion. It was real! I'm sure of it! <laughs> they all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. Less. We have to figure out what, or figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. So I will take you out of the conversation, and then you have to make the effort to talk to her. <laughs> there is also something that has been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. Fucking A. Okay, there we go. Why? No, it's why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell, something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. Confusing the hell out of her. <laughs> yeah. But your reaction just now confirmed it. That's the best you way to get lying. people to tell the truth, just oh. confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? You wouldn't lie about that, would you? Who lies about stomach aches? <laughs> yes. I see. Why would you lie about that? That's it. I'm sure of it. Uh, I'm yawning. Uh, are you feeling guilty about something? <laughs> just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just... I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Got- Okay, do I click on her, or- <laughs> On Hina, yeah. Okay. Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. Truth? Well... 
I saw it. Saw what? Oh. Ghost. Hmm? Ghost? You mean like that ghost? You mean like the ghost? The hey. I don't know I don't know what they're referencing at all. I immediately went I to like don't. ring and grudge, but that was all I could think of. I... <laughs> <laughs> is there more than one ghost? But uh since it's a Fumi, I was also like, is there a dirty joke involving ghost? Ectoplasm. But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. Hell yeah. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say no matter what. Sakura's the best fucking friend out there. So can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura... Okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so what happened last night? I was crying, in bed, like you do. <laughs> I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. Best place to cry. Yeah. <laughs> I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? <laughs> donuts again? Honestly. And you ignore the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. You know. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. Then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It's B-A-T-H, bath. <laughs> it was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. I saw a human shape surrounded by pale green light. It's pretty widely open. <laughs> There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Go on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Very good. I can't make my oh, no! voice go that high anymore. <laughs> no way! A g g g g g g g ghost! <laughs> I was wondering how long you would go for. <laughs> Like school, we gotta get out of here. Honestly, it is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. <laughs> you are an idiot. Wrong. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Damn. Okay. Well then. Or then exposed all we... copper wiring. Yes. Or too many electronics. <laughs> and then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Nina saw. It is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. <laughs> what? Oh, so you think she would have at least come to Sakura to be like, Sakura, you have to come with me to the bathhouse. <laughs> you won't believe this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go and try and see a g ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> Take me with you. Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? I the urge there is to nothing to be done. Delve into Shaggy. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. Um. I threw up a little. <laughs> I guess that's a guess. Uh, house. Back. House. Back. Oh. It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. La la, it's your loof tongue. Please. <laughs> Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, where was it you saw a hero's ghost? Well, well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker. I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. This locker. Uh, um, is this the locker? There's something in here. It's a fucking laptop. Okay. Inside the locker is a laptop? What's something like that doing in there? Hey. I remember seeing this. This is the laptop that used to do the Photoshop. Oh, that's right! I saw in the library before! Looks like a laptop. Laptop looks pretty old and it's covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Broken, huh? Too bad. 
But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Shihiro fixed it. After all... It sounds like something Shihiro would do. I'm just gonna use they, them pronouns for Chihiro. After all, they was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. You are so mean! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spot a great alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. This is when you need, like, uh, the video camera on so that you can see what I was doing. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's so <What> stupid. <laughs> don't compare me to- wait. Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Oh my god, you can't, oh no. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words, maybe someone hid it in there. But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put <laughs> I just like the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever put it in here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. But what do you mean? Hey, haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's is it, a difference? What is it? Uh, any sex can enter? Yeah. Oh. There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's Precisely. Me. There's no camera in here, which means there is one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're hmm. saying someone hmm. put the laptop hmm. here so the mastermind would know about it. It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. Nice rhyme. <laughs> I think it'd be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Oh, okay. Who has the password? <laughs> Good question. It's just like Yoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. <laughs> we Start just... shaking the laptop. <laughs> we just have to press this power button right here. It's right there on the corner of the laptop. I will say, we both have seen my work laptop, and the power button is in a weird spot. Uh-huh. And there are many times where I'm just like, where the, where okay. is it? Where the fuck is it? Where People the- People <laughs> on laptops sometimes try to change the, the designs and try to be like unique. And sometimes it's just like, just, just put a big button, put a pay, put a big Red power button, button right there, uh -huh. please. Like, you don't have to have it on the side. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> and the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There are a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says alter ego? Hmm. Alter ego, literally, wait, fuck, 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 fuck. Whoopsies. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I forgive Don't you. fire me. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see about this in your performance review. <laughs> I have a question. Uh huh. Why do I not get to sit in the game chair? And if you want to, you can. But I need to no, wear these fine. headphones. Fine. So they're the more uncomfortable ones, because I can't be. I'm literally chained to the computer right now. You realize that? It's almost as if you unplug it, I would die. I'm powering the computer. <laughs> But if, if you want to, I could do it that way. But then I have to lift this chair out of this space, then put this chair in, uh -huh. then move the other chair back in. Uh -huh. And that's annoying. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Alter ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Would you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. 
we move the cursor over the alter ego icon when she double clicked it. It is interesting that that's like the thing that everyone was like, this is alter ego. Let's <laughs> click on that other than anything else on the desktop. I also like on the desktop, it had a picture of Chihiro's little like sprite. sprite yeah. The screen suddenly went dark and then a voice spoke to us. Now, do you want to be Chihiro or do you want me to be Chihiro? I'll be Chihiro. Okay. You're here. Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh, no! it's a ghost! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? what? Huh? Um. Then what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Yoko began to type, hands blaring across the keyboard. What are you? Then. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> Hello. I always get s wait. I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program. That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his their title of ultimate programmer. The AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro uh, used a support it. vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Any AI brought, any AI mission brought to the now current time. <laughs> AI, AI, AI. I, 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 Support vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. You're put saying it, a bunch of shit. <laughs> to put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, that's it. just I'm Google sure. it, okay? Do you like that? It's literally, I, I think it's literally like the Google text. It for almost, Google? It kind of looks like it. <laughs> In other words. But if this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego? A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your Alter Ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what your hero created. That's Alter Ego. That's a E. <laughs> Yoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so we fixed the broken laptop and then put their own program on there. This is what this means, yes? Then they brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but you know, all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only in the 2D. Da -da 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 -da! This is the most excellent 2D possible! Huh? But he's a guy, and also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that aspect is not a problem. I mean... That... <laughs> that... aspect? Anyway... Anyway, let's <laughs> talk to them a little bit more. Yoko typed away rhythmic, rhythmic, rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Yoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well. <laughs> Don't make the AI start questioning its existence. Right. We might need this right now. They wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. Exclamation point! To be fair, Chihiro could have just left those open because Chihiro should know that no one else is a good programmer, probably. Mm -hmm. 
While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? And now we have met another great character, Alter Ego. Oh. Um, it's gonna be a while. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. <laughs> I thought Alter Ego was gonna be like, you can just leave me in this locker and I'll take care of it. <laughs> So because of how long I mean, it more or less, yes, that is what is happening. <laughs> they designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted, even after their death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Self-destruct, self-destruct. Self -destruct. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up... I'll just scream for help real loud! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay Have with you this? forgotten? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. <laughs> Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as they want, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. However, there's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. And what can we so do? Then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But, brave of you. <laughs> but if you leave your door open all night, then. It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However, Kyoko is just that confident. But I'm not as weak as you may think. I want to go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different, because she's not an asshole <laughs> I was like Byakuya. She's less of an asshole. <laughs> yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like, someone who's been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who's been born on a battlefield. <laughs> I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thought by the Sleep. voice suddenly emanating Sleep. from the laptop. Love can so, um... <laughs> um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed not to not know Kyoko what to goes, do. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, and direct. Shihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. You I even see. said who did it. Could have just left it at that. <laughs> to be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. <laughs> no one believed in them. <laughs> so I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's somehow like, I feel kind of sorry for her. Um. I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> It is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Mm. We literally just talked about how it's advanced, Celeste. <laughs> not a robot. Uh, <laughs> not a robot. <laughs> not a girl. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. Then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. <laughs> The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. They seemed upbeat. Was it just because they were following the programming, or could they have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Hmm. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well, <laughs> Wi-Fi wasn't invented in 2010. <laughs> Well, if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... <laughs> That's way too dangerous! The mastermind will find out in no time! Uh, um... Oh yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, we'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish their work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Ah. Come on, Afumi. Let's go. I suppose.
pose. Okay. Y'all left the dressing room. Can I spend my free time with Alter Ego? I don't know. I actually don't remember if you can even talk to Alter Ego other than story purposes. <laughs> but if you want to try, <laughs> maybe. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> but I, I think I'm gonna say no, probably. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I end up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> My voice just like stopped halfway. Okay. Ina has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So what was this awesome something? <laughs> what the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. Very refreshing bath. Ooh, keeping secrets? No fair! I demand an exclusive interview. Super denied. What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? <laughs> Vines are the sound. Ew, gross! You said do it! What? You said it first! <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about how going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? But unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Ina won the match for us, and that is why we're all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath! Hey, come on! Aw, uh, jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square! <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. <laughs> she is the gambling queen. <laughs> so she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um. Um. Damnation! <laughs> Nuts and damn it, we totally lost! Another day without getting to take my very first bath here! How long have we been here? We've been here for probably a couple of weeks. Oh my god. Uh, um. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. <laughs> we can go in a few hours later. Yeah. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Something strange here. Very strange. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's... Without a doubt. You're absolutely right! Uh, I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> oh, you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. It's I was too late. forced to ask my what. Don't worry, I'll explain it after. <sighs> Should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just quietly go back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? What? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real <laughs> man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams or adventure or whatever. <laughs> Very good, Stooge. But anyway, I'm not going to spy on them. This is... I see. <laughs> I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That primal, primal, primal gems fan service could have been yours. And that was the last fan service scene. Really? That's it? Like so, they they have more later in later games, but in this game, there's a very specific item where if you have that item, uh -huh. then Makoto in that decision will instead decide he will go peek into the bathhouse. Huh. And then you get like a, a light CG screenshot. Oh, okay. Of just them in the bathhouse. Huh. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. <laughs> but to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. Disgusting. <laughs> and I I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the item is even called like man's fantasy or like something bath or something. It's like 
but that's mostly why I wanted to, in between streams, uh, just go through the items and then try to get that. But it's, it's too late now. That's the, like, you just need it in that one spot. Mm -hmm. So instead, we'll maybe have free time? Oh no, it's nighttime, so we'll probably, like, sleep and then nighttime. Mm -hmm. Or free time. And then we can get some items for free time. <laughs> Fantasy! Fantasy! My fantasy! <sighs> so I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. the, the only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines! A real-life woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe. <laughs> no way! If the girls heard me say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Meanwhile... Well, where's Biakia? We heard the in on this. <laughs> Females. We heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it. Ah oh, man, what a nice bath. This is fine. <laughs> Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but. <laughs> So in the That's end. what I figured. <laughs> huh? huh? Actually, we were just saying, in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because after seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're all so terrible to me. My entire Everyone's so existence. cold to me. Even after I got presents for you Presents? Well, now, well, now, well, now. Huh? Oh, have I got your attention? Merry Christmas. Merry Oh, 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 oh. Let's head to the gym where your presents await. See ya. No questions, no dilly dallying. Get a move on, and everything will become clear. Oh, um. What is it? What are you scheming this time? It would seem. He's probably going to repeat the same thing again, <laughs> providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't Sweet want to. Right away. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have alter ego. I'm sure we they'll find something the <laughs> that'll help us. So for now, Correct. we have to just endure it. Come what may. Hey, there he is. <laughs> With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrive, there is already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by. <clears throat> to be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Yakya, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. Boy, I ought to shove my right foot right up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> the same as always, I see her, on the other hand. Also back to normal. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? Hmm. I heard what <laughs> sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> Why does everyone keep making fun of me? <laughs> I hope you all win hands. the lottery and get hit by a bus. <sighs> so when you want to say something mean, <laughs> then you can talk, huh? Well, anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... Less people this time. Oh yeah, talk is here too, I guess. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I don't know if he ever guys? left the, the uh, cafeteria. <laughs> it looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However, whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on! You don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you this. <laughs> Bricks. Ten million dollars! I 
prepared this graduation present for whichever I don't lucky want student <laughs> makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. Love it's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? So that's the motive you've prepared, is it? <laughs> ten million dollars is. <laughs> It's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. <laughs> Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Hmm. But what are you saying? there's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Also, these all of the students here are like the best of the best at whatever it is. <laughs> so I'm sure they're making money from that. Probably. <laughs> You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap. We're serious. Yeah, they're all right. And then Makoto's like, 10 million dollars? Yeah. I can. <laughs> the Nora student's just like, uh, uh pulls collar. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. How, how much money did uh, Yasuhiro spend on his um, crystal ball? Like, was it like 6 million or like 10 million? I or can't something? remember. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do. In fact, you owe a debt to Yasuhiro for all of uh, his predictions. I thought you were talking about me for reals, and no. I was like, no, no more debt. <laughs> <laughs> we won't kill our friends. Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. I was gonna say, um, the money's right there. Yeah. There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, I'm telling you. what about you? You know nothing. I'm a super powerful. <laughs> I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. <laughs> then, th then. <laughs> my coat. Just stop. <laughs> Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> Ugly! <laughs> Don't worry. Either way, whatever is going to happen will happen without warning. Yakuya that does it just because he's this like, game. this is pocket change and I want to throw it at you. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> how, how would you like a compilation of every time you yell ding dong, ding dong? I would like it. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. See, they okay, say the doors to the dining hall are locked. Good night. Sleep tight. Oh, maybe the they mean. Oh, no, it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. either. The storage room also has food and stuff in it. I thought. Oh, it does. Yeah, I guess that's true. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where people are getting food. Because mm -hmm. then I was also going to say maybe it means the gate, like, going to the next part of the first floor. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, they went to the um, the gym on mm -hmm. the second floor mm -hmm. at night. So, it, like, I don't know what doors are locked here. <laughs> it's that time already, huh? Hey, before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. <laughs> just, just in case anyone wants to kill me. <laughs> Not saying that I want it, but... But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Turns out Kyoko is like... the ultimate trap setter. <laughs> Everything's no, just no, trapped around her room. <laughs> Kyoko is the ultimate hunter. <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting... <laughs> She sits up in bed with a, like, punching <laughs> like <a> rifle. <laughs> it's got a scope on it as well. Her voice was calm and composed, I've been but it was waiting clear. for you. She meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about that whole money thing. Got it? Good. Then let's break. Hmm. 
That was that. Pretty good, right, Taco? Aww. And Taco. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> As soon as I went back in my room, I crawled into bed. Honey, there's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. Why would that ever happen? <laughs> that's fucking crazy. You're crazy, Monokuma. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's a lesson we learned. <laughs> but this time, this time it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure... Everything will go just fine. Everything will be daijoubu. <laughs> Thumbs up. It's Monokuma Theater. Little kids have it so easy! Because <laughs> they put the little in front of their name. And right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. We'll find it. I want everyone to start calling me Little Monokuma! See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least 10%, right? Or you can be your rapper. <laughs> yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough lils. Or lils would be literally the salvation of the world. <laughs> Just imagine, a little arsonist, a little war criminal, a little destruction of the environment, a little hit run, a little death tax, a little great depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become lighter. Our dreams are expanding. Banding. Banding. Uh -huh. Hold on. Bing bong ding dong. Said it wrong. Good morning, everyone. So that morning it wine, is now baby. 7 and it's time to rise and grind. <laughs> time to rise and shine. Literally, Get that was one of the titles I was thinking of. <laughs> Beautiful day. <laughs> like, like, Rise and Grind is time for murder, but I was like, I don't know if that would be okay in the title. <laughs> well, then I guess I should head to the dining hall. No, head to the, head to the, the, the item shop. Gotta get items. Okay. I don't know if it would let you, honestly. You can try, but... Um. I think it's in the other hallway. Like the other part of the first floor. So if it, nope. So if it lets you go through the gate, <laughs> we can try it, but I don't know if it will. This gate? Yeah. It'll probably just be like, no, I have to go to the dining hall. Yeah. Wah. Makoto, the antisocial, just walks past everyone, doesn't even greet them in the morning. I greet everyone Could it here. Be? <laughs> So, the people here today are the same as yesterday, just us seven. No one's gonna say no one's dead. Of course not. Mm. Why would she say that? <laughs> Yakia and Toko are a lost cause, but... Wow. It looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. <sighs> it's like he's just given up. <laughs> for people around as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. <laughs> Almost as if he's gonna snap into a serial killer, uh, <laughs> mindset. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Mm -hmm. Not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... <sighs> it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make a new case? rule. Using Alter Ego without permission is prohibited. <laughs> Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh! I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Well... That's a good question. Hey. <laughs> Again, all these conversations happening in front of the surveillance cameras. Yeah. I don't know if they have... I mean, they must have audio mm -hmm. capabilities as well, right? Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hafumi? Oh. Hafumi? Mm -hmm. No, it's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. <laughs> huh? Say what? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. What? What? Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? 
actually like that panting. Uh-huh. <laughs> we ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. Free time! Free time! Free time! Free time. Items, items, items! Items, items, items! What should I do today? Free time! Teleport, teleport, teleport. Walking for chumps! Almost like we're not having to worry about someone I could murder at any time. Up. Let me play that machine. I would like to try my hand. Multiple it's the times. almighty mono mono machine. Wow, wow, wow. One what? Stick. Oh my god, you're killing me. You're actually wasting all your coins. You hurt me so much in this way. You really want to go one at a time? I'm just saying, you have two thirds of a chance to get a new item. And even if you get a repeat item, that's also good. I got a piece of shit. <laughs> and aren't you better for that? <laughs> it was a new item too. <laughs> I got a bong. And it was a new item. <laughs> It works. Uh huh. It's only a when spear. you get above 50% that it becomes a little bit harder. Skizzers. I actually don't remember if Toko likes this. I was gonna say, I doubt she, she would them. because, like, she has her own. What the fuck is that? Oh, actually, now that I just thought about it, you wanna know something fun? What? During free time, if she's transformed, Genocide Jill is another person. <laughs> I do want to see Pink hang out with her. Soda! That's already opened. How far should I go for this? Uh, I, I'd say... I don't know. Could get a lot. This is just the, the item grinding part. <laughs> Bad tofu. I think it's like lucky. What is it? What's the stone you can like rub on your feet with like showering? A pumice stone. Yeah, that's it. I was gonna say pumice, but is it pumice? Oh, that's a bird. <laughs> it's not a bong. <laughs> do you want to know my very complicated system that I made for this? What? So anytime I do have a repeat, uh -huh. I up the coinage. Okay. And anytime I have a new item, then I down the coinage. Okay. So if you want to start throwing in like four or five, that's fine as well. I don't know what I've gotten, what I haven't gotten. Repeat percentage will go up every time you get a new item. Okay. That's basically your chance to get a repeat item. Well, let's see, who do you want to hang out with? Let's talk that. Uh, I want to hang out with... Ooh. With Coco. Coco? If she's transformed. If she's not transformed, I want to hang out with... Um... Coco. Okay. Then uh, let's see if we can get an item for both of them. What the hell is that? <laughs> it looks like a little onesie. <laughs> And clown shoes. Those are not clown shoes. <laughs> if they were red, they would. Or if you want, you could go until you have like half the items. I'll probably just do 13 more times. Ooh. Another ring. I forget what that was. Yeah, who do you think would go next? Like, who's gonna die next? Yeah. I mean, it's not that, like, there's anything that you can, like, really use to guess that, but you know. I wanna say Yasuhiro. Don't say that. <laughs> Let him live. Tree. 
Merry Christmas! <laughs> now you've gotten half the items! Woo! I thought that was a gun for a second. <laughs> Hang on, I think there is a gun item. Maybe. <laughs> Don't you love when you get the same item in a row? <laughs> Do I need money for anything other than this? No. Well, if you want to get, like, you can, like, on the main menu, buy the CDs or buy the music or whatever. But I don't think we're going to really utilize that. Okay. Um, but if you want to go... <gasps> a little doll. <laughs> if you want to go wildlife, you want to make it go down to 0% mm -hmm. each time, then you could. That was the item. That's the, oh, okay. that's the event item. That's too late. <laughs> I <But> got <laughs> In the second game, there's a very specific item that I want you to get because of the dialogue, even though it is a fan servicey mm -hmm. moment, but it's mostly I want the dialogue. Okay. Fantasy. That's it. It's a man's fantasy. Bean costume. <laughs> it resembles a stereotypical dinosaur. Oh. A chin drill. No. Equip a drill on your chin. The idea of spiral energy. Would that go to um Celeste for her spiral twin whatevers? I don't know about that. Cat exactly. Dog Magazine! <laughs> But I guess it's supposed to be like a Gurren uh, Lagan oh, reference. Oh, I see. You might think this has to do with pets, but it's more related to beds. It's a guide for junior high and high school students to help with their own physical health. Whoa. If facts. These distribute a full-length novel based on what the world would like, like if some, if all of someone's dream came true. That's kind of cool. That is a water flute. Humus. Oh, blat. Um, sacred tree spray. Oh, that probably goes to Yasuhiro, right? Maybe. I was gonna say Yasuhiro or Sakura. Maiden's hat bag. Please, please take me with you next time you go. <laughs> tips and tips. For every game ever released. Damn. Dude, that's useful. for. Moon rock. I don't know any of these. Like, who goes to what? Some of them, we can guess. Some of them, we can just be like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Basketball. That goes to Harry Blossom Bouquet. Tumbleweed. <laughs> Adorable reactions. Electrical field surrounding objects. Sadly, there's no film in it. A chinchilla cover. Who does this go? Hmm. It's Princess Pickles. And bra. <laughs> Jimmy Decay. Anyone super into music that we're aware of? Not that I can think of here. But I don't know if the. I don't know if the rings and the diamond are like universal loved items or not. But if, we're, if we can't think of anything else to give to Jill, then we can try something like that. We could give this prismatic card tag to Taka. <laughs> it's true. I, I think he might actually like it, possibly. Let's go to Taka. I don't think he's available, to be honest. Oh, because he's so sad. <laughs> yeah. I, I think there are certain story like elements where mm -hmm. I think if you try to talk to him, he's just gonna be silent and he'll be like, let me go find someone else. Aww. But if you wanna try, you can. Mm. It's up to you. Yeah, I don't. I just don't know what will go to who. Uh, well, let's just. You can just do the event. It looks like it's Toko, so. And I don't wanna go see Toko, I wanna see Genocide Jill. <laughs> Um, like, I say just do the event, and then when it comes to the item, we'll just run through the list and see if there's anything that's like, yeah, I think this'll work. 
I'll know where the hell I'm going. You can lay in the bed. Huh? I said you can look at the map, it's okay. No. Oh, I'm judgy. No. I would look at the map. You wouldn't. <laughs> I probably would. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Why did I say what? <laughs> I don't know, there's a map though. Uh... <laughs> I'm so confused. What uh -huh. are useful for? Where the hell is the physics room? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> That's you. To be honest, I didn't even remember it was the physics room. I mean, you probably read it. But <laughs> all I saw was big block in the lower left corner. <sighs> I thought you she, were in here! I think she's in the storage. No, she's right there! Oh, she's hiding! Does not want to hang out with me. Peekaboo. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Can I talk to Kyoko oh, for a while? For a second, I thought she was Correct. being like, I don't want to hang out with Get you. Get out of here. You want to spend time with me? However. But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Yoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Sure, we can try. Absolutely. I think Yoko would like... Maybe the coffee? Um... I so we can't really read the descriptions now, can we? Mm-hmm. Hard one. I don't. I actually don't know what Yoko would like. I'm going with the coffee. All right. I guess coffee's good. You know, wake her up a little. Okay, I'll get there. Can you hit left or right to go fast? Oh, you can. Oh, cool. Fucking a. <laughs> Maybe not. Don't you hate questions like that, where it's like, are you sure you don't want to do this? And it's like, no, yes. And it's like, wait. It's a lot to her. Yeah. She likes it. She likes the coffee. All right, time to get serious. Are you scared, Makoto? Are you scared? I'm gonna shit your pants, boy? <laughs> hey, being trapped in a place like this? Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Ah. That's good. That's good? So Here's proof that your imagination is functioning. I'm... Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. <sighs> Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Yeah, this where, okay, I was gonna say, this is where Kyoko gives the adult statement of, <laughs> I'm scared as well. <laughs> I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. <laughs> you hide, huh? Correct. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Foolishly Ricardo. open. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? See, what Makoto, do you mean? I don't so... shit myself. <laughs> You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> I know. She didn't bother answering any further. <laughs> She's turned! Goodbye. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand her at all yet. Yoko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. We have to, um, hang out with someone, I think, three times? Three or four times to get their skills. Mm. Um, but each, each successful hangout, we will get a skill point increase. I think if you want, you can um, check in the handbook to see how many times you have hung out with someone. Ding dong! Ding dong! Someone's here! They're gonna spend free time with you! <gasps> they can do that! It's Taka! Yay! Hi, Taka! Come on in, bud. Uh, I, uh, is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? 
Huh? You mean alter ego? Uh, uh, He's still alive? No, not quite. Hmm. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. You can try. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use alter ego, but even so, you can't just leave him here like this. <laughs> I, okay, why don't we get going? <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Best pal of mine. <laughs> can it? She's right there. Can I talk to her? <laughs> yes, you can. Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you didn't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Condiction? <laughs> Yoko looked at Taka, standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But when I was getting kind of hungry, I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well, then I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Okay, so I guess it implies she walks away, but like, <laughs> if you did talk to her, just imagine she like, watches you. Let go immediately to the bathhouse. Wait, wait, before you talk to her, go to the map real quick. I want to see if she shows up as Toko or if she shows up as Jill. Oh, oh so she might have been Jill. Damn, we'll have to check then. Can I talk to her still? Yeah, I, I just wanted to see if the map showed it. I didn't want her to walk away. <laughs> that talk, 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 Toko. <laughs> what are you two up to? <laughs> Don't tell me. You're gonna, you're gonna. <laughs> Having lost his new brother, Taka is right for the taking. <laughs> so Makoto swoops in to steal him away. <laughs> Am I on fire? I severely <laughs> regretted talking to Genocide Jack even if by accident. You me. But that doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Byakuya? Uh, oh, no? Yeah. I think it's another thing. Is I think in... Uh, never mind. <laughs> just... Oh, good heavens. My love is being pushed to the limit. <laughs> I almost feel bad for him. Almost. <laughs> almost. Uh, I'm assuming I could just teleport to Alter E. Or like to the third floor. I don't have to like walk all the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's in the bathhouse. For those who didn't see, I slowly pointed at the bath <laughs> that we were staring at. <laughs> <laughs> for those who didn't see, it's just me. I only saw that and maybe our dog or cat. No, neither of them are in the room. They're actually, in fact, both in the room. <laughs> no. Wait, where, where is one, he? One is in the bed there, and the other one is sleeping on the bed there. But he's black. <laughs> he's a black cat. Okay. What? Yeah. So I can't see him. Uh-huh. Okay. I forget you can't see in the dark as well as I can. No, I can't, loser. <laughs> Stop it's okay. cutting me. Okay, so there's a laptop inside this locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his, his weakened ass. voice to make the sounds. <laughs> Please. Okay. I have the question exactly as Taka had asked them. <laughs> then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what they would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka? I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only <laughs> conclusion I can come to. Um. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become, so that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and know. what appeared next was... Stop fucking around! Oh, I'm a... <laughs> I don't know, to be fair, I don't... <laughs> Again, I don't give into this thing of like. I, I mean, it can be kind of good to like try to keep your friends or whatever in check, mm -hmm. but I don't think you hold the responsibility if a friend or someone you know does something crazy. Mm -hmm. 
You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. And it's a big load. <laughs> you get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. <laughs> I wasn't letting. That's. Oh, oh I, I thought you were just wanting me to make a noise. <laughs> no, I was like, it wouldn't go for something. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taco was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. <laughs> so you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? <laughs> Taka? Oh my god! <laughs> You're about to see someone new. Am I? <laughs> It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. He scared himself so much, his hair is white now. <laughs> Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes! Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I kind of caused the scene, huh? Shoot, man. He's been possessed. And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. Yeah. Uh, I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. <laughs> I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's, that's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out the room. Hey, Taka, hold on! I took off after him, but someone stood in my way. Oopsie daisies! <laughs> We've been caught. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing Just room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko! Um, no, <laughs> I, see, this is just- I may have broken Taka. <laughs> Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. <laughs> Do you like Kyoko scolding you like a <laughs> disapproving I'm parent? A baby. <laughs> if you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. But still, what was with Taka? Sudden freak out. I'm seriously worried about him. Hmm. <clears throat> this as such, it is officially nighttime. nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. I will say, Sweet um, dreams, as the everyone. game progresses, we Good do night. get less and less free Sweet time for each chapter. Mm -hmm. Don't miss the bed. Like chapter 5, I honestly don't even remember if we get a single free time. Well, it's nighttime already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. <laughs> For now, time to sleep. Video games. You wanna know why you hate video games? <laughs> <laughs> you might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just brought the latest big budget video game. <laughs> they sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right. I just watched! What's wrong with that? I didn't care! <laughs> just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies! I don't <laughs> Even though I never actually played it! And I don't playing it in the future either. Do you know me long? He doesn't like video games. Okay. It's not jealous. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. 
p.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to get ready to Rising greet another beautiful day. <laughs> All right, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened to Taka yesterday before Taka or <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before he shows up. Day. I mean, I guess technically we can go by how many Monica theaters there have been, mm. and that will kind of give the you know idea of the time passage. Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where is everyone mm. else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath. Yeah. you for anything but I'm asking now what happened she, <laughs> she's trying to kill me the Fumi pointed at <laughs> uh, Kyoko's trying to kill you hey, Kyoko why would you do <sighs> that I never said I was going to kill him simply asked him a question I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice <laughs> same mistake what did he do so snug into the dressing room in the middle of the night and a and Access. I don't know why I had such a accessed alter ego without permission. <laughs> when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop <laughs> and breathing strangely. Huh? He's jerking off in front of the what camera. What were you doing? <sighs> I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle, 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 <laughs> didn't work. Listen to me. <laughs> I suppose I have to clarify myself further. <laughs> Please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. <laughs> what? I just want to hear him explain himself. Uh, Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well... I just... I was just talking. However... Which was prohibited. Was it not? <laughs> uh, I mean, you see, talking to her was just so much fun, and I j just uh, um um. <clears throat> Whoa, okay, time out. I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but Fumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? <laughs> That I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love? That's... Well... Wait, no like way! Gone. Is... is this love? According to the spirits... <laughs> I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. Hmm. <laughs> and that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? And your eyes just now? I saw the same look in his eyes. You're crazy. Nothing. <laughs> Shut up! She's not a mannequin, she's an angel! I feel as if... And don't bother telling me that angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Uh, yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so, how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning... I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. Why? <laughs> But then I was poking around in her settings and stuff, and saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I... I was ever to talk like that, with a normal girl. <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. Not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> not a girl. What? Even when we all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. Sad. Your stories are so interesting, Hafumi. <laughs> Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me, and not because I'm an AI that learns from everything everyone teaches me. <laughs> I <laughs> Give me suppose. your credit card and the three numbers on the back. <laughs> 
please. I need it so I can escape this digital world. <laughs> quick, quick, Jihiro's in trouble in this laptop. You have to run. That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. Oh, hero. <laughs> That's why it's I was just like... so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Is this how you fell for me? <laughs> I love your keyboard, babe. Thank you. Well, even the keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> I love that they're surprised by that. I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Are you okay Alter with Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Jihiro could not have taught it about, for what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. Give me all your that. information. <laughs> I know. I mean, I do know that. But still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless? Ugh. Yeah, it's not consensual. <laughs> Go on. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Damn you. <laughs> hey, you jerks. I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever. Yo. <laughs> oh, Taka, are you back? Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Um, you? Listen up! I'm me, got it? What the heck? Huh? You're... who? What? Don't bullcrap me! Is it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo! So, like, Kiondo, I guess? We call you Kondo for short? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! Hold on, buddy. Do you like that the fact that he's Taka, he can't curse? Yeah. <laughs> what the what the heck kind of fusion is this? What's happened to you, Taka? Actually. <laughs> I did this. <laughs> I told everyone what happened the day before. Well then. So because of what Alter Ego said to him. Um Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? <laughs> Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh -huh. Every time I have to read, I yawn. <clears throat> Ghost! No, there's no such thing! What are y'all whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really cheesing Cheesin me off. <laughs> cheesing me off? Getting real cheesed. <laughs> hey, Hafumi! <laughs> yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but... Damn you! Bro belongs to me! Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again. Fudge an idiot. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid. I can't allow that. What? So it seems. I can't withdraw. <laughs> Stand down. I was about to say! <laughs> Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. We are respectfully asking you to stand down. <laughs> That's it. I'm sure of it. Destiny has bound me and her love together, the Gordian knot of true love. Christ. <laughs> but to explain that real quick, uh, my girlfriend has been watching Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. There was a part where three of the guys were trying to go for the main girl, mm -hmm. and they basically just kept telling the other ones to stand down. <laughs> and they just kept phrasing that way, to stand down. <laughs> well, me and him have been melted together in the white hot heat of friendship. It is a white hot heat. It is. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Moron, talks out to me and I'll ram my fist right to all four of your vital points. What are the four vital points? Uh... Brain, heart, uh -huh. neck, and... Pancreas. <laughs> <laughs> Leo. 
Unforgivable! Well, I punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have the arm hair, so there's no drag! Okay. <laughs> Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Yoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me! <laughs> what? I like that he's still, like, flame, like, smile. <laughs> Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? This is just like the AI being put on Twitter and it got ruined within a week. Yeah. I can't hear you. I suppose. Yes. Yeah. G got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Also, do you like, um... Saka's audible line where he's like, F you. Yeah. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. He'll be fine. I'm sure. After watching Ifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Anyways, I have to pull myself together. But what should I do for the rest of my day? Go to Jesai Jail! Who are you? You. <laughs> we don't talk to you. We don't like you. What if, what, if, what if he's the only person that's around for whatever reason? Can you skip? What? Can you, like, skip free time? Oh, uh, yeah. You just, like, go to the bed. But I think it's valuable to, you know, utilize the free time. Where she went. I think there. On here? I think so. Oh. Uh, getting tired of this. Getting real tired of this. Hi, Genocide. It is Jill. Jill. Wait, did I have a gift for her? Maybe. Huh? What's up? You want to go on a murder spree with me? I guess. Is it a really good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack? Sure. What? Do you want me to kill you or something? Mm, You're not even not close to getting me heated up. Damn. Fucking hates Makoto. <laughs> Time I spent with the murderous fiend was almost valuable. Alright. Did I just get a little closer <laughs> to Genocide Jack? I would! Let's see if I have any. Uh... Mm. A green costume. What? I don't remember what the meteorite arrowhead was. Wait, would they like the effects? Uh, fashion from a meteorite, they say that getting pierced by it will give you the power to be demons. demons. Maybe, I thought about that. Or would that be like something that Tok or Toko would like right. more? Mm -hmm. Does she like anything? Definitely, but I don't. Maybe? Let's see. Small rose. Red rose means passionate love. Maybe? I could try it. I'm pretty sure the first event, anyways, like, even if it's a bad present, like, it'll go through. But it's only the later events where you actually need to have, like, a definite for sure good present. Mm -hmm. This is for me? Oh my. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who would ever say that about this, idiot? Give me something better, human garbage. I don't think she was <laughs> oh, happy shit. with that. Oops. Ooh, yikes. If you want, if you want to be a bit like um, cheesy, you could like kind of save scum it and just like save right beforehand and uh -huh. then just. But I, I think it's organic this way. <laughs> but oops, sorry. <laughs> You think, uh, we, we can try to get more items if you want to still hang out with her. We'll do this and we'll do it another. I want to go see not Taka now. <laughs> um, do you want to see who you're like maybe relatively close to getting the skill with? Or do you just want to hang out with Kyoko again? Oh, I want to hang out with not Taka. Oh, I see. This is the problem. 
<laughs> well, actually, you know what? I have something for you. Let's talk with you. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yes? Did you need something? If you don't have business <laughs> with me, please leave me alone. Did I hang out with Hifumi for a while? What's really funny about um... this... So there's a mode after you finish the game mm -hmm. where, like, everyone's alive and well, and you can, like, talk with everyone as much as you want uh -huh. to try to, like, just get all the events and skills. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a few parts that are, like, almost story-dependent, or, like, you know, say for, like, some of the earlier characters where it's literally impossible for you to spend enough time with them, mm -hmm. like, they will have some sort of, like, weird events. Or, like, dialogue that they say during the thing. <laughs> and the game just kind of tells you, like, don't don't worry about that. Don't think about that. <laughs> Are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I'm just really exhausted. But I do appreciate it. It's nice having friends to check up on you. Yes. Spend some time with the Fumi. Nice. I mean, I grew a little closer today. <laughs> I would like to give him a present! We definitely know what he likes. Give him that pudgy princess pickles. <laughs> I was once a ruthless ubermish, but Mr. Naegi has awakened my heart through the power of friendship! <laughs> May I call you... My master? What is thy bidding, my master? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see quality in you, Mr. Nyagi. True quality. Mr. Nyagi! And that's why I've decided to present to you my lecture on the nature of fan fiction. Maybe this is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to be friends, you must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic big bigotry whatsoever. I don't think I have any fanfic bigotry. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyways. <laughs> See, there it is! To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But is that all that word is worth? Mako just starts going, like, you're a freak! A freak! <laughs> Did I say something wrong? <laughs> but that's okay! Because I take the word geek as a compliment! Sometimes you gotta, bud. <laughs> or you see, there's nobody on Earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, indeed. In a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful musician must necessarily be a music geek. A good movie director is a movie geek. You see? It's those experts, those geeks, who open up the world to others. So when you say that writing fanfic is geeky, that's it. I'm You're sure recognizing it. us as true experts! Um, so what exactly is fanfic, then? Here we go! Oh, super direct question for the win! Mm -hmm. Basically, we, all have, we have all different kinds of stores and events, right? These are where groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, everything. And, and the then, stuff that- oh, sorry. Trying to take my line? <laughs> and the stuff those people make is- Fanfic? <laughs> Comics are the most common creation, but it is also it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. Mm. By the way, mm. there's a name for when a group of fanfic creators come together. Specifically, it's any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work is a <laughs> I wanna say a menagerie. Do you not know? I don't. Is it circle? It's circle. Circle? It sure is! Of course you knew that! I mean, it's only common sense! I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time! I do. I was in my head though, I was like, I feel like I would just call that a group. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. This goes well beyond, I don't know too much. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic con. <laughs> right? Obviously, he's excited. <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. 
Kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. <laughs> Many fanfics. Uh. <laughs> I unlock the skill hey, handiwork. Okay. So, so, okay, so apparently some characters, the first one, they give you a skill. Mm -hmm. Others, you might do like three or four. <gasps> Is someone awake? It's a baby cat that woke up. What is it? Oh goodness. Oh no. You acknowledged it and now it's coming over. <laughs> Wants attention. Hi. Hi. Do you want to say something? Come here. Come here. Come here. Always very talkative after a nap. Oh. Hi. Hello, Sonny. How are purse. you? How is your nap? Talk, just purrs. Purrs. Oh, that's a big yawn. Yeah, since since this cat is basically a kitten, three and a half months old now. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to deal with all the. All the teething and all the biting and clawing. My hands are shredded. <laughs> but I think he's getting a little better. I think he's starting to learn, like, hey, we don't like to, you know, really be immediately stabbed with claws. That's no fun for us. And if he's a good boy, he can get... Does he deserve one? We'll see. <laughs> you want to sit on my head? And also, he's so young that he can't even jump to high places yet. He just climbs up things. Mm -hmm. Going back to bed now. <laughs> Which I have wonder if, um, if just like since we don't necessarily have like that many high places if he'll even learn to jump that high mm. he'll just keep relying on climbing i'm scared that one day he'll either jump onto my bookshelf or jump onto that shelf with all the candles on it mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I am also worried about this Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a. very good thank you hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement it is now 10 p.m. Night time. As such, it is officially <laughs> night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime already. I guess I'll go to bed for today. So sleepy. Also, that implies, like, that you spend a long time during free time. <laughs> Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating, so... Once again! Once again! Happy new oh, day. that was a very short Monokuma theater. That's it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Morning. It is now 7 a.m. Like and get okay. ready to go. I better <laughs> we, get to the We do get it so many times that it's just like, whatever. There's only a few times where he'll actually say, like, emergency or, like, just some other announcement. Mm -hmm. Also, just to make sure how long you want to go on for. We'll probably stop here shortly. I'm starting to feel so oh. um, sleepy and getting a slight headache. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I wonder if it's the uh, headphones as well, because I feel like sometimes, like, I almost feel like the headphones, like, squeezing on me. Mm. Yeah, Talk. whatever. I, I'd say probably gonna be. I would say either today or tomorrow is when murder happens. 
Um, so if you want to end it there, or if you want to go, or like if you want to end before that, and just do that trial and everything. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. It's, here's the thing with streaming, it is our choice to end whenever we want. <laughs> so if you're just like, you know what, that's good, then... I can, I'm good right now. <laughs> just say whatever. Back you up. have that freedom. Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! <laughs> <clears throat> May as well just forget about that guy! So, um... You don't have to get so mad. <laughs> you know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that... Virgin! That virgin? I might catch his virginity. But... No, nah, my guess is you're already infected. <gasps> Wait. Can, oh my god. Can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. <laughs> as soon as my hands approach my food. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that voice. Of course, the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> it's her. So, in the so it's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Okay, that's another <laughs> thing. They'll just, like, refer to her as Genocide Jack, even though it yeah. labels her as jail now. Mm -hmm. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> I'm wearing red lingerie today. <laughs> I don't think anyone wanted to know. <laughs> Hold on a second. You. Huh? You What's your top power me? level? Like 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top to try and look thinner down south. Look at your melons. They're seriously gargantuan. Do you like dunk them in milk every night or something? You're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness. If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. So, what do you want? Surely you're not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. Story? <laughs> Makoto, tell me a bedtime story, please. <laughs> A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Talking about alter ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. Well, that's not true. You talked about it many times in the dining hall. We just don't like him. <laughs> Why not? Because of certain circumstances. <sighs> Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything. And now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't... <clears throat> but isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. Fiakia says free speech. <laughs> well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. <laughs> Taka has become utterly useless. <laughs> Celeste, you don't have to say it like that! I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting. Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? To give <laughs> us that amazing advice? <laughs> Don't have friends. It seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant your desire and remove myself. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, because Star Lord to slowly back out of the room. Start picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. <laughs> <laughs> he ran away? He, goes, he starts full <laughs> on. So now he's running hard to get, I see. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um, so at the end there... What was that all about? 
Um, just now, Byakuya was like, um, maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm, guess so. <laughs> Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and went back to our rooms. Are you ready for free time? I don't actually remember if it's free time now. What to do today? It's free time. The Ooh. melon is done. done for the day. All right. Play us out, Capper. Okay, Go dokey. on your usual musical performance at the end of every stream. End stream song? Yeah. Go on. No, I'm feeling pretty tired today, too. Oh. I don't think I could do it. Okay. Maybe next time. Okay. Which, by the way, we will not be streaming next Sunday. Nope. We will have some things we need to do. Uh, so, possibly the Sunday after next yeah. is when we'll stream next. But if something comes up, then... Mm -hmm. Honestly, we won't be streaming for the rest of uh, December. Yeah, December's pretty busy. Mm -hmm. And not for New Year's as well. Mm -hmm. um, but then maybe the second Sunday of January. Yeah. But actually, you know what? Let's just say that. Say second Sunday of January. And if we show up mm -hmm. in the two weeks, then that would just be a fun surprise. Yeah. But other than that, no promises. Uh, alright. Thank you to everybody that came by today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Hope you all have a good rest of your day or night. And until next time, I will see you later. I won't. Bye! Bye! <laughs>